everybody welcome back to my channel this is priyanka well i live here in oslo and i talk about my life here in oslo and if i find anything cool interesting fun i always make it a point to share it with you guys here on my channel and today as well i have something really special for you guys well ever since i started my channel uh, i have been getting a lot of requests a lot of dms uh, regarding beauty salons and fitness and it took me a while to address them but today here i am and i have something really special for you guys and i'm going to talk about sasu yes sasu is an online platform a website through which you can access on call lifestyle services hi nice to meet you nice to meet you as well how are you doing very good how about you good ready for a workout yes so looking result. forward to it yeah perfect start with on stretching mm -hmm. then uh, running yeah okay perfect Thank you. It was good. Yeah. I'm uh, tired, but uh, awesome session, and I look forward to the next time. All right, I look forward to the next time too. Have Thank a good day. You, you too. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so I had a very nice training session at uh, at this uh, Nedrafoss area using uh, Sigurd. Uh, Sigurd was very nice and helpful. I found him uh, using the Sasu uh, website, and um, it was uh, very easy. Done in three easy steps. Selected my the service, found the service provider. and then entered the time and date um, as in when and where i want to meet him the, the on the web page there's also a functionality to kind of add more details on uh, what are your what are you exactly looking for what are your areas of weakness and things like that so it was all in all a very easy and uh, seamless experience for me and i definitely will use it uh, going forward as well i have two special guests today here on my channel who are going to be representatives of sasu and we are going to get more information about this special platform today on my channel so let's call them so here i am and today i have founders of sasu with me on my channel let's hear it straight from them hello sudhu hello ganesh hi, hi. <laughs> welcome thank to you. my channel thank, thank you, you. <laughs> so first of all congratulations for sasu thank, thank you, you so much, much. And yes. what is Sasu, and who is Sasu for? Uh, so Sasu, it's a lifestyle service platform where you can book services within fitness, health, beauty, and hair to your own desired location. So this can be in your home, your work, in a park, anywhere you want. Hotel. Yeah. yeah, and who is it for? It's people. It's for people who are uh, time sensitive. Uh, and want to make their every everyday life easier people who perhaps you have social anxiety and you want to exercise but you don't want to go to the gym so you can through us you can make the personal trainer to meet you at your home yeah. or you can meet the the personal trainer at a park and do an exercise yeah. um, and also it's uh, we are very it's very important for us that the customer knows the full price mm. we don't want any hidden prices which is sometimes the case um and also they want to be necessary to be you know sometimes you have to send a message and then that person sends you a message back and it goes back yeah. and forth it's it a really lengthy long... process yeah, yeah it takes yeah, so you time. just pick a time address done get That's overview it. over the person uh, i mean the provider's uh, services and prices mm -hmm. put in your address and then that's it it's a very user friendly 
So in this case, we believe, believe that. It yeah. Is, yes. We have actually tested it with about 50 people in total. And uh, yeah, it's good we've got very good feedback. Yeah. yeah. So what was your motive behind Sasu? Like, why did you create a name like Sasu? Because in <laughs> India, Sasu means mother-in-law. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> that was not my intention. <laughs> yeah, I, I picked the name Sasu because uh, this idea came to me while I was on my way to Japan. So it's a Japanese name oh. for uh, to, to be visible or to come across something. And that is uh, our, uh, we want to make service providers visible and we want to make it easier for customers um, to find them, consumers to find them. So that's... Mm -hmm. Not, yeah, I wasn't thinking about <laughs> the Indian word mother-in-law. No, you told me about that. Yes. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. T think in Jap Japanese. So it's a, it's a Japanese terminology that influenced you to come up with Sasu. Though. Yes. So why Sasu? What motivated you to come up with something like Sasu? Okay. Yeah. So Sasu is inspired by you know, challenges friends of mine were having in finding. Um, service providers. I had two friends who were getting married and they were looking for a um, beauty stylist uh, that could make them do the service at their home and they found that really difficult to find them. They were using a lot of channels, uh, Googling, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and that is really time consuming and ineffective. And the third friend of mine, she, was, she just had a child and she wanted a personal trainer. Uh, so she had to go through the same uh, steps also very time consuming and I am an active user of Airbnb uh, so uh, the, the simplicity of Airbnb as a marketplace and the challenges my friends were facing that so that's what inspired me to mm -hmm. to build this uh, solution with Karishma and you have used yeah so when, of, uh, when I uh, met Sundus about 14-15 uh, months ago I I initially thought that oh my god this is what I needed when I was a makeup artist like five six seven years ago. Uh, also, I had used a similar service in India, and it was very normal like to get your eyebrows fixed and get your hair fixed and book like from this app. And uh, when I heard it, I was like, I'm in. Because it has a huge potential. This is something that has never been tapped into in Norway. And I and I I I initially thought that. What doesn't this exist? No, 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 no. Like that's something that yeah, because exist. services like this do exist in India, but this is something the Norway needs. It's yeah. high time, and it actually exists in America. It exists yeah. in Sweden. England. Yeah, even Sweden has something similar. So it's so great that you guys actually got this something. This that was you know need of the hour to yeah. Norway. Thank yeah, you know yeah. because I run a channel and I always get these requests. You know, people who are new to the country, mm -hmm. who have the purchasing power, still they're not aware. Mm -hmm. You know, they still are not aware about where to go, where to buy from. Mm -hmm. People are confused. All the women are like, where is the salon? Where is the beauty services? We have special occasions. We don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. So that awareness is not there, you yeah. know. And so we, we, we tell them to go to Sasu and Dot Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And we want to change the p way people think. Because why do, do we think, mm -hmm. where is the salon? Why don't we think, yeah, well, I totally can, why can't someone come to me? Absolutely. Mm, totally why, why do we order food to our home? But yeah. we, we go to restaurants as well. But why do we have the option to book food, but not a service, like beauty service? Or Absolutely. Fitness? Like people who are working, they cannot go. After 6 p.m., most of the services are shut, right? Yeah, so exactly. e even if they do a half time or, you know, working part times, mm -hmm. they get tired. They don't want to go to a salon. They don't want to go outside. They want somebody to come and visit yeah. them. So this is such a uh, like yeah, it's uh, a good way to it's a good time. way you know why not absolutely yeah. so what were your challenges during your journey so far mm -hmm. so my my challenge was uh, actually executing deciding to execute this uh, this uh, this idea uh, everyone has ideas but the execution part is um, the, the, main the, part. the main part yeah. and really yeah. important my background is in teaching and uh, research I don't have an entrepreneurial background so uh, taking this risk was a bit challenge for, challenging for me and also finding a good team member and yeah I did find, <laughs> find her eventually it took me time so what are the tips that you want to give to young budding entrepreneurs who are especially coming from abroad the international ones mm -hmm. you know so what will be your advice to them 
networking uh, do so it, it as I mentioned it took me uh, quite a lot of time to find a good uh, team member eventually I found uh, Karishma <laughs> uh, and I used my network to find her uh, I think I found her through my mentor and business developer mm -hmm. Uh, we had a huge list of uh, people to contact and she was like, this, this girl, I know her, I've done projects with her, so you should definitely contact her. So do, do, use LinkedIn, use your network, ask around, yeah, and take your time. Um, so that is what I would say. And when, and when it comes to the execution part, you have to do market research. Uh, you have to have a lot of indications on whether this, where, whether there's a market for your product or service. So it's really important that you share your, share your idea and uh, um, contact uh, potential uh, customers and uh, see if there's a good fit. So Karishma, coming to you, you are so young. What were your challenges during your journey? Mm, I would say my top two challenges were first, personal economy, and the second, finding solutions to problems I haven't faced before. Uh, so uh, the first challenge, personal economy, I came straight out of university. I did uh, like work as a consultant for several startups um, as internships or yeah, as I said, consultant work. Um, and when I just I think one year later, I started my... You were pretty fresh, you were very young in the business. Yes, so I just joined Sundus like one year after my education or 10 months after. Mm. So it was a bit like... Uh, New realm for you both, It right? was maybe a bit overwhelming, but it was also like, I know this is what I want to do because I always, when I was studying, I knew this is, I want to start something on my own. And in fact, I always wanted something that was related to beauty. So... Mm. Yeah, that was this was a good fit. This was a very good fit for me, yeah. um, and uh, that's why the economy part was difficult. I didn't, you don't earn anything in the beginning in the startup, mm. and you didn't have time to save up. Right? Yeah, mm. so I didn't, uh, I didn't save up that much, but uh, I do a few projects here and there, and I live at home. My parents are very supportive of what I do, and they completely understand my situation. Um, the second challenge is, uh, as I said, the experience I have. I have a lot of experience from different projects. I haven't worked for very long at one place. So uh, this finding solutions to uh, every single problem was maybe what was challenging for me because it's not like you're working in a big company and you're like, oh, we need numbers for this, send it to the marketing department, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you just so, have to get your hands dirty. You yes, so I would just there. say if you have Google, you have internet, or you have a laptop or a smartphone, you can figure out anything on your own. So mm -hmm. now I feel like so technology is there. You make make most use of technology. Yeah, I think yes, I feel like any problem, you find the solution now. Yeah. So if you are a customer and you're looking for beauty, hair, fitness, and health, any of the services from these categories. Please do check out sasu.no and if you're a service provider or, or if you're self-employed you can also check out sasu.no for further opportunities if you have any comments or queries please feel free to leave them in my comment segment below i will be happily you know replying and addressing your queries this is all for today i hope you enjoy today's content on sasu i'll be back with more cool content till then keep watching my channel this is priyanka wali signing off Bye-bye.